Hey everybody, it's Karen with Food and Family. This evening we're going to fry salmon patties. I've got these little cans of salmon that I like. I like the boneless, skinless salmon. And I know it's backwards. I don't know how to turn it around. But um, How many ounces is it? These cans are 15 ounces each and we'll drain them. I like the boneless, skinless because I don't like all that goop in it. So, and I've got some um, zipper peas. My granny used to cook these all the time. They're a lot like um, the little green lima butter beans. Can you see those? Oh, they're so good. And we're going to fry some potatoes up. So we're going to have us a good supper. So let's get started here. I'm going to open these cans. i got to get me a bowl, so hang on with me. I get me a little bowl to mix it up in. And, uh, we're going to add some onion to it. We're going to add a little flour, and I like to add a little cornmeal. It puts a little crunch in it. I'm sorry, my uh, thing was in the way here, wasn't it? I blocked you off, so... But I'm going to drain my potatoes. I cut my potatoes up, and then I like to soak them in some water. It gets all that extra starch out, and it seems to fry up a little better. So, uh, let's get those draining while we're, while we're mixing up our salmon. So, I'll try to show you what I'm doing as I go along. So, we'll open these little bitty cans up. They're a little short on the counter here. So, but it's white meat and um, it's so pretty. And if you get the boneless, skinless, you don't have to deal with all the skin and the bones and everything else. My mama used to make salmon patties for us when we were growing up. And uh, she always left the bones in, but the bones are so soft. If you leave them in, they kind of cook away, really. So, um, it's not that big a deal. I just don't want it in my, in my salmon. Let me drain this and I'll show you how pretty it is. And, um, let's see. Open this without cutting my finger because these are sharp little cans. See how pretty that meat is in there? Can you see that? Oh, it's going to be a good supper tonight. Let me get us a, a little spatula to get all of it out. We don't want to waste a drop. We're going to get it out. So give me just a minute, a half a minute, and let me drain these two little cans. You don't have to put them in a colander or anything. If you just hold the can over the sink and keep that lid on the top, and as you press that lid down, as you press the lid down, it drains them. And it gets all that juice. You don't want all that juice to be too wet. You want it as dry as you can get it. But it doesn't take much to do that. So, let's do that. Get this last can in here, and then we're going to cut up this onion and put us a little onion in our salmon and we're going to put a little onion in the potatoes and we're going to have some smother fried potatoes. They'll be so good. Now, get rid of that. Clean it up as you go. Get it out of the way. And uh, go ahead. We're going to put in an egg. And one egg. We're going to mix that in there. And we're going to put in some salt and pepper. Let's put in some salt to your taste. We don't want it too salty. And some pepper. And, uh, freshly ground pepper. And um, let's go ahead and cut up our onion. We're going to put some um, flour in it. It don't take a lot of flour. You're not making bread. You just want enough to make it stick together. And um, for a binder, that's what you need. But we're going to put a little cornmeal in with it because I like cornmeal.
because it gives it a little crunch. And I like, that's what I like. When I'm cutting my onion, I cut the ends off, cut it down the middle, and then I got two halves. You can see that. You probably do yours the same way. Let's get this. Oh, onion peels. I don't like them on my, in my onions. So I got two halves here. Set one aside because we're going to use it. Come on. Yeah, you don't want a fine mince, but you don't want a big dice either. I'll show you what I'm talking about, what I'm got, how big I'm going to do. Let me get this chopped up. Don't take but a minute. Cut it down. I'll show you. Cut it lengthwise and then cut it in little strips. You don't have to cut it down the middle. I know you see people do that all the time. Onions are in layers. Why would you need to cut it again? So I take my onion and I cut it this way. Let's see, let me get up here where you can see. I cut it this way, however big I want it, and then I cut it this way. And you got your little dices. You don't have to go this way. I just, the onion's in layers. So, when you dice it up, you got your little dices. See? See how it comes out? Can you see that? So we're going to put that in. That may not use all that. That's a lot of onion, isn't it? I don't think we need it all. Let's put some right there in that little bowl I kept aside. We'll put that in our potatoes when we start to fry them. It's going to be so good. Y'all, I'm messy. Please forgive me. Keep that if we need some more. So let's stir this around. Get that out of the way. Stir this around a little bit. We're going to start getting it mixed up. The egg's going to act as the binder. But we also want a little flour in there. And it's going to help hold it together with the eggs. So we got some... Um, Assurance they're going to stay together. You don't need a lot. Trust me, you don't need a lot. So I'm going to put I use self rising flour, and that's um probably a couple of tablespoons I'm using. Let's see. If I don't think it's enough, I'll add some more. And I'm going to add some cornmeal. Don't you just like my little containers? I do. Probably the same amount of cornmeal. Uh, might be add, add another add about three tablespoons of cornmeal but I like these it keeps my um, meal and flour and such fresh I can get to it and I don't have to worry about anything getting in it that I don't want to get in it so let's stir this up here I'll let you see what it looks like Get it started. How's everybody been? We're all trying to pull together and make it through this time. And uh, it's been a rough time in our country, but you know, we're going to make it. I think it needs a little more flour. So I'm going to put a little more flour in it. I think I'm going to put another couple of tablespoons. And I think that should do it. Then we're going to get our potatoes frying. Get them in the frying pan and have them going and we'll have us a supper pulled together. It don't take long. This is something you can cook when you come home from work and it doesn't take long. You've got yourself a good meal. The peas are, they're frozen. They don't take long to cook. You can put them in. I put a little bit of salt. Not much because they use chicken broth, um, not chicken broth, but the bouillon cubes, I mean. And they're salty, so you don't want to add a whole lot of salt. Okay, see how I've got this? See what it looks like? Can you see that? See how it's getting kind of stiff? Yeah, it's still going to be moist. So, I want to get some oil in my pan. It will soak up the oil, so... As I cook it, I may have to add some more, especially when I go to the next batch. 
I'm going to go ahead and put some oil in my pan for my potatoes. Get them going. Let's get to turn that. Turn the iron. Get that going. And go ahead and turn this one. You don't need it high. These eyes cook fairly high anyway. They get real hot, so I don't need them on high. I'll turn them up just to get them started. So let me get my potatoes. Get them over here so when it, that heats up in a minute. And I'm going to move this knife so I don't cut myself. I'm going to scoop for my... use kind of a medium sized scoop and if you've got these and if you bake or make cupcakes you've probably got these and I've got a really small one it's like a tablespoon and I got this one and then I got the big one it's like ice cream scoop uh, size but it's good for cupcakes too or muffins when you're making them so you know what that's getting starting to get warm so we're gonna go ahead. Let me show you what one what you want to do with these. My hands are clean. I washed them just before we started. So pack it down. Now look. See, so I've got that in my hand. Kind of kind of squish it together. Technical squish. Now see how big I make it. Now you can make yours bigger if you want to. Use the big scoop. Kind of make it, make it real pretty. So, then we just lay it in. And my oil's not hot enough yet for it. So, let me rinse my hands a second. So, I want to add my um, potatoes into my frying pan. Hear that sound? Mmm. Now, let's add some onions to that. Put this one out in case we need it. We're gonna put some onions all over it. We're gonna smother fry them, as my granny would call it. Get my knife back. So we're gonna cut our onions up. I'm not making them thick. See, they're not gonna be thick, and I'm just gonna lay them on top of my potatoes. Lay them, scatter them on top of your potatoes. Okay, my skillet's getting hot now for my, my salmon. It's starting to sizzle it. Sizzle the patty I've got in there. So we want to put some salt on it. My potatoes and onions don't come season. So, then what we do? We'll get our lid, put our lid on it. Now we're smother frying. So, okay. I don't know if you can see in there or not. I hope you can. You can see how that's sizzling away now. Let's make another one. Get it going. We get it. It don't take long to cook. Your, your salmon out of the can is cooked. It don't take much to cook salmon anyway. But um, it's already cooked. It's so all we're doing is putting it together, and basically we're heating it through and cooking everything else that's in there. But you know, the eggs don't take long to cook. The onions won't take long to cook at all. By the time these get done, those onions will be cooked through. They'll be soft. Put it in there. I think we can get one more in the in the pan. They're not very big. So, rinse my hands. I don't know about y'all, but I like to keep my hands clean when I'm cooking. So I need to get me a spatula. I'm going to get in your way a minute and get me a spatula. So, I got it, and I'm going to, when this gets brown, it'll get golden brown, and we'll flip it over to the other side. 
when it gets golden brown on that side, they'll be done. And it don't take, I don't know, two or three minutes on each side. Let me get a plate to put them on. I'm not meaning to turn my back on y'all. You can't see me when I go get things. So we need some napkins so we can drain them. We'll put us a napkin on our plate, and uh, when we take them off, we'll put them on that paper towel and we'll drain that grease off of them. Let's check a piece. I thought when I picked these up out of my freezer that I had uh, the green lima butter beans. And that's what I was wanting, but they wasn't. But zipper peas are very good, so you'll like those as well. And uh, just let's take a peek. It's getting there. It gets crunchy on the bottom and brown. You turn it over and it gets crunchy on that side and golden brown. And it's really good. I like to, sometimes we have it for dinner at night and I cook eggs and biscuits to go along with it. Oh, it's so good. And this may sound crazy to some, but we like to put yellow mustard on it. I do. And, um... It just, it just makes it taste so good. So, um, give me a minute, and I'll be back, and we will uh, finish cooking up. Well, I'm back. That was really quick, wasn't it? It don't take long in TV time, so we're going to call it. So, I don't know if you can see. Let me hold one of these up here for you. I just flipped them over. See how nice and golden brown and pretty that is right there? Can you see that real good? I hope you can. I'll hold them up a little better. Uh, flip them over and it, they're crunchy. See if you can hear it. And, um, oh, they're going to be so good. And uh, I just flipped up potatoes. So we got, uh, I know you can't see them, and that skillet full of hot and I'm not going to try holding it up for you. Uh -uh. I don't want to take a chance on spilling this hot oil. Pan full of potatoes on there wouldn't be fun. So, my main course is the salmon. That's what I'm looking forward to. I've been wanting it and a very, very new, very dear friend of mine has requested that I show her how to make salmon patties. So here I am tonight trying to show her how to make salmon patties. So she'll have to watch the video to see it. Maybe I can get her over here sometime and teach her how to do it in person. What do y'all think? So you ready for Halloween? I am. I got my my new cup with water. It has to that's my witch face. It's not really. So Give some some water while I'm cooking because I get thirsty. But we're gonna have a neighborhood. They're calling it trunk or treat neighborhood style this year around here. Try to keep everything safe for the little children, the little trick or treaters, and uh, ones that want to participate and decorate if they want to. Hand out candy. We'll have. Um, a tag to put on our mailbox so the children will know what house are trick-or-treating. Of course, we'll have our lights on and we're going to dress up and decorate out front and I think it's going to be fun. I like to do that for Halloween. I like to see all the little kids all dressed up in their little costumes. So, I think these are about ready to take up. See, it don't take long to make them. You can make you some biscuits. You don't have to make them homemade. You can open up a can of biscuits. They're, they're good. I was raised on them. And uh, I guess you can tell that. But uh, we like some biscuits. I make them homemade, but sometimes I open up a can of biscuits, and that's just perfectly fine. Take advantage of what's available out there. So let me take these up. Get this next batch in the skillet and I'll show you one of these close up. Don't take long. I think I need to put a little oil in my pan. Whoa. 
I didn't have hold of that, did I? And that skillet's so hot, it won't take that oil but just a minute to heat up. The same thing I was doing, just pat them out and kind of squish it together, and it holds together. Now, if you don't add an egg and a little flour, it won't. But uh, it don't take much. You saw how little I put in there. A lot of those ounces in that can were uh, water, as you could tell. So. Is it 15 ounces of salmon? But I think two of them were, two of the ounces were water. And if that's not enough to make a patty, so we'll just add it to one. You get this out of the way and wrench my hands off. show you what these look like close up see how pretty see how pretty those are can you see that look at there see both sides can you hear it they're so good we might have to taste one before this night's over with well we will before the night's over with because that's what we're gonna have for dinner what I mean is before we're done cooking, we might have to taste this one. And my taste tester's off in the other room. See, it does not take long at all. Let me check my potatoes while we're waiting on that. The handle gets a little hot. Can you hear them? I'm sure you can. When you smell the fry like this, they get steamed through and through in the pan, and that just helps them, makes them so soft. And yet, I'll take the lid off the last, I don't know, two or three minutes, and then they'll start browning up, and uh, makes them so good. So. I'm gonna get a bowl for my potatoes while I'm at it. Making a lot of noise in here, aren't I? So I'll just stick them in that real quick. I think my peas are done, so let's, I'm gonna go ahead and turn them off. Yeah, they're done. They don't take long to cook. Frozen peas. Are really just about and frozen vegetables are just about as good as fresh um because they're taken right out of the gardens and they're they're frozen they're packaged right then canned or a little more processed but um certain things i like frozen certain things i want out i don't mind out of the can of course fresh is always the best when you can do it but not everybody can at this time so I didn't have a garden to can anything up so um, we're using frozen and canned and what I can get fresh in the grocery store so um, give me just a minute and I'll be back I'm gonna finish up these potatoes finish up this salmon and I'll be back and show you what it all looks like hang on I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're back. So, what I've done, my potatoes are almost done. And, uh, so I'm just letting them brown up a little bit. And, uh, it's not going to be long. We're going to be having, be ready to eat. We're going to have us a good supper. Anyway, what I did is I put my, the first salmon patties that I cooked back in the skillet, just to heat them up a little bit since they were sitting out. And uh, I got them going. I turned my turn my skillet off because it didn't need to stay on the the skillet retains some of the heat, so um, they'll heat up in there. So 
I'm going to heat them up. I'm going to take these potatoes up and then um, I'll just see what everything looks like all together on the plate. And um, it's going to be so good, y'all. I hope you'll try this. This is something I like to do. And uh, I'm new at doing the video, so forgive me if I'm I seem nervous or kind of doing around yammering too much, but um, I just like to do it. So, if you will go look at my my page, it's Karen at Karen Food Family. It's uh, Food and Family. I've got a few videos out there, and uh, like my page and share it with your friends, and. Uh, so, I'd like to do this more often. I do it as often as I can. I have in the past done it as often as I can. So, right now I'm getting to where I can do it a little more. And, um, so I kind of like to keep it up and, um, get some things going. If you have any suggestions, any ideas of something I can cook, please let me know. Send me a message and, um, I'd be glad to to do it. I'll do what I can, and um, if I don't know how to cook it, I'll certainly try to find out for you. I'm going to move this out of the way. It's hot, and um, I just want to get it get it moved. The handle gets hot after it cooks for a little bit, and I'm fixing to take these potatoes up. You can get them as brown as you like them. They're about as good as I want to get them tonight. And uh, so I'm going to put them in my bowl here. And then we're going to have a call for supper. When my kids were growing up, they loved fried potatoes and peas. They didn't like salmon. They still don't like, not salmon patties. They like salmon grilled or, uh, you know, the big old flank of salmon, which I love it too. I like fish. We uh, talking about salmon makes me think about we got some little kitties that showed up, and um, Mama and she had some little newborn kittens, and uh, she's a feral cat. But we, she was just real skinny, and we wanted to make sure she had something to eat so she could feed her babies. And she, we opened a can of tuna and gave it to her, and she just loved it. I wouldn't give her my salmon, though. She can have the tuna. I like them both, though. So I got my potatoes here. I got them, I got my peas. So we're gonna set it all right here. Let me take my lid off. Let's grab a plate. Let's grab a plate. So we're gonna put one of these my hands are clean. I promise you, I have washed them. We might just put two on there. Some, um, some peas. Okay, oh, it's going to be so good. My daughter-in-law, one of my daughter-in-laws like to take, uh, when she's got the, the butter beans or the little green lima butter beans, she puts mayonnaise on it. She just loves it. Me not so much, but she does. Yeah, but I'm not putting any eggs on mine tonight. Now, look at here. Now that is going to be, see how steaming that is? It's going to be a wonderful supper tonight. Got all we need right here. So the potatoes and our salmon. And they're still crunchy. So, but I'm glad you joined me tonight. I hope you enjoyed the video. Join me again. Please like my page, share it. Thank you. Bye.